The jury is still out on the name. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another video, and this video is going to be the first of my personal story podcast. I don't know what I'm going to call this just yet, to be honest. I had a couple of names uh, in my, the back of my head, but then I kind of realized that a couple of them could be subject to copyright if I used them. So, uh, yeah, I may just kick that guy that question to you guys in the comment section. Let me know a name for this, and uh, hey, if it's used you'll get a shout out, um, and bragging rights, because those are always fun, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, this is basically what I talked about doing a while back ago, and life's kind of gotten in the way, so it got delayed, and it got delayed, but here's finally the first episode, this is just one of those informal things where I don't talk about anime, I just kind of talk about some of my life stories, give you guys a little bit of backstory about me, just because, well, why not? I figured it'd be interesting. So, for those of you that don't know, in real life, I am a paramedic, and I'm also a police officer. Um, get a lot of really interesting things happening in your life when you do the, that kind of work. Um, but, yeah, basically this is going to be my kind of way of venting and just kind of go over some stuff. Um, basically, this series, I'm going to follow the format. I'm going to basically do like three conversations or three stories from one of my jobs, then another three from another one, from another one of my jobs, and then back and forth, vice versa, until we run out of things to talk about or we decide that this podcast is just a flop and I shouldn't do it anymore. That being said, I did do a lot of discussion with attorneys and everything else, and I kind of got a good idea of what I can and cannot go into. Obviously, I got to change some details. I can't put details in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You guys all know the gist. So, anyway, that being said, and also I will not name departments. I will not name people. Yeah, all that stuff, common sense, all applies here. So, anyway, today's podcast, I'm going to talk about three stories of my early career in law enforcement. And then we'll talk about paramedic first. I actually started paramedic before I started law enforcement. So I don't know why I'm doing it this way. Probably just, it's weird. Um, so, yeah. The first story I want to talk about is when I actually first started, before I became a county deputy, before I became a K-9 officer, I actually worked on a local municipal department. And uh, my sergeant, for the life of me, I swear the man did not know what my real name was because he kept referring to me, and I know I'm. this is going to get... Well, actually, I don't even have to worry about that because my videos aren't even monetized. He used to always call me Fucktard. That was, it. That was the name he called me never called me by my real name. I'm not even sure he knew what my real name was. That's exactly what he called me every single day. Um, yeah, and he called me that up until the day I left, too, which is weird. The guy was not a very likable guy. Uh, so one of my first instances with working with this guy, because when you get hired on the department, you have to do a training grace period where you have to ride with the sergeant for a certain number of hours. In this case, it was 40. It varies based off where you're at, but for me, it was 40 hours, so I got to learn a lot from this guy, and it's funny because one of my first calls with him, we got called out to a, um, it's a defunct store now, it's basically, it was called Big R, and it's basically, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's basically like a um, farm supply store, and we got called out there for a semi, uh, it was very suspicious, and we got there, and the semi was rocking, and knocked on the door, um, not kind of expecting what we were going to hear here, basically it was just a wellness check, knock on the door, and uh, we had this gal come running out in her birthday suit, the, the gal looked like, um, I don't like to shame people, but she looked like a character audition from my 900 pound life T TLC show. Um, you guys can YouTube that if you need some context, but that's what she looked like. She went running across that parking lot. My sergeant looks at me and he goes, Hey, uh, you ever got the oversized load sign? 
and then he proceeded to tell off the driver that he did not have his uh, load marked correctly. Um, that gives you the kind of the kind of character that this guy was. He was real weird, but that was one of my first instances of working with this guy, and it probably threw off all kinds of red flags. But even though he was kind of a kind of an ass. Uh, for lack of better words, I did learn a lot from him, and yeah, you you learn a lot with 40 hours of somebody riding in a car together, and it just, it did not get any better with him, and I don't, I don't know why, I cannot stress that enough, he was a bit of an odd duck, but yeah, that, that was my first introduction to law enforcement, and I'll be honest, I didn't think I would like it after that, um, I kind of dreaded my first few shifts when I had to ride with this guy, but eventually I got my legs in underneath me and I was able to start patrolling on my own. And I actually worked graveyard when I first started. Um, and you see a lot of weird things in graveyard. Um, one of my most memorable things I will ever remember from my first gig in law enforcement, I was on my own for maybe only a week. And this town that I worked in was a little, it was a one stoplight town. There was only one stoplight on the main drag, and it was a U.S. highway. So it was still a pretty busy intersection, but it was the only traffic light in town. And I was driving our unmarked car, and I got, I rolled up to the stoplight, and granted, this was like 10 o'clock at night, and I had this, it was a Shelby GT500 Mustang. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. And it comes rolling up next to me at that stoplight, and it starts revving. And I was like, oh, you're not really going to do what I think you're going to do, are you? And they just, light turns green, gun it, they're gone. I was like, yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. The lights, I pull up behind them. And I, it was a young kid. Didn't even have his driver's permit for a year by this point. Not even a, well, no, not even a year. He had it for maybe like six months. And where we live, your driver's permit expires after a set time at night, and that's usually about 9 o'clock. And so the kid's driver's permit was invalid. On the plate on the guard, it turns out it was stolen from his dad's house. Report stolen two towns over, and yeah, apparently he took it for a joyride with his friends without dad's knowledge. Dad got very upset when we called him. Had the kid back to the cop car. He was bawling and screaming, and dad shows up, and Ask the dad, okay, long story short, you need to decide whether you want to press charges on your own kid. He looks at me, he looks at his kid who's still bawling in the back seat. He's like, you're damn right, I want to press charges. And kid just starts breaking down at that point. And he, dad's just like, this is the only way you're going to learn. I swear I wanted to shake that dad's hand because I wish there were more parents like that in this world. And yeah, that... That was probably one of my most memorable experiences. First time solo, first big call solo, and yeah, that that was pretty interesting. That's not very common, to be honest with you, here in the States. Um, very rare that that happens, but when it does happen, it's a sigh of relief and a breath of fresh air. and gives you a little bit of hope for the future of humanity. And then the third and last one that I'm going to mention in this podcast... Um, how do I explain this one? I always explain this one as Friday the 13th weirdness. So basically the gist was it was Friday the 13th, full moon, and you guys can already pretty much tell how this story is going to go just by that. Um, you know, it's going to be freaky. Uh, this is like midnight, and I'm getting called out to the cemetery. And the reason I'm getting called out to the cemetery is because somebody drove by and saw somebody out in the cemetery. Now, I get out there. Well, first I had to wait for the guy to come with the gate, the cemetery gatekeeper. He had to come unlock the gate, and I could get out there and talk to these guys. And there were three of them. And basically, I got told, stop, you're interrupting the ritual by this one girl. And I was like, the ritual, I don't even know if I want to know, but please explain. They were trying to make a demon baby. Um, yeah, I'll let your imaginations run wild on that. Uh, and it's funny because Sergeant that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, he was actually my backup that night. We were the only two working that night. And he rolls up, and we finally, we get these guys, 
they're all upset because we interrupted the ritual. Them trying to make a demon baby. All of them are in the back of the cars. And he just looks at me at the end of it. And I was like, what the hell was that? And he looks and he's like, well, on the plus side, uh, that's the most action Mr. Davis has had in almost 100 years. And I just looked at him and it's like, you are one sick mofo. You know that? He's like, yeah, I know. And then he just walks back to his car. So, yeah, everybody, those are kind of just the highlights for today's podcast. I know that this is kind of a weird video format. Hopefully it gets a little bit better as time goes on. If you guys like these, maybe I'll keep doing them. If not, maybe this will be the only one we ever do. Um, that being said, everybody, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. We can work. We can do a couple more and see if the format gets a little bit better. Uh, this is a little bit awkward because it's a little bit new for me. It's a little bit new for you guys. It's a little bit new for everybody involved. Like I said, don't have a working title for this series yet. Maybe you guys can let me know of one in the comments section. And uh, yeah, just let me know what your guys' thoughts are about whether you want me to continue doing these or if you want to hear more. Just let me know in the comment section down below because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone. As always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.